What's up, everyone? Glenn here, the Black Rock Real Estate Office in Michigan City, with another real estate podcast. Today is June 8th, and it is a beautiful summer day out now. Can't wait to go out and enjoy the weather. But first, some housing statistics. So, April of this year was very strong 941 homes sold, almost $200 million of property sold in Northwest Indiana according to the Greater Northwest Indiana Association of Realtors. The average house price was 108.81 a square foot, and in April, 76, uh, 67 days was the average time on the market. This past May, which just ended, we had a slight softening of those numbers, 850 homes sold, so uh, 90, 89 homes down. Um, the price per square foot was slightly lower, $107.80, and only $178 million of property sold in Northwest Indiana last month. Although the time on the market dropped from 67 to 61 days, so it's still very hot. If you're thinking about selling, now is the time. I can help you with that. And, um, yeah, things are moving. If there is a recession right now you wouldn't know right here in northwest indiana that's for sure so i have one real estate question today this one is another question i get very often if you have real estate questions that you want answered comment them on my link on facebook or youtube for this podcast uh or you can message me directly call me text me whatever so this question is, what's the difference between FHA and conventional loans? Um, and there is quite a few differences. And depending on the type of program you're in, all this will change. So it's better for your specific situation to ask your lender. But in a nutshell, um, FHA loans are backed by the Federal Housing Authority. So these are the most common loans in my experience. Although in this market right now, FHA appraisals seem to be a little bit lower. Uh, a lot of sellers aren't accepting FHA loans when they're getting multiple offers. So it'll be interesting to see what that split is. Ooh, that's a that's a good one. Next week, maybe I'll have some uh, statistics about what what type of financing people are using. Um, so FHA loans, you can generally have a lower credit score. Um, the down payment is pretty low. The, gone are the days of 20% down or 10% down. On FHA loans, you can have 3.5% down. Although, depending on the program you're in, sometimes there are areas where the census tract says it's a low income area and you might qualify for 0% down FHA loan or something like that. Uh, if you're a first time home buyer, you might have for down payment grants or um, tax benefits that would go along with an FHA loan. Um, the big thing is when you finance a house like that, um, if you're putting less than 20% down, you have private mortgage insurance, which is a separate charge. It's a insurance that the bank has. So in case you default, um, it mitigates some of their losses. And the private mortgage insurance does not drop off of FHA loans unless you refinance. So if you get a conventional loan, which is the sort of gold standard traditional loan, that's probably what your parents bought a house with back in like the 70s or 80s. Um, the rates are usually a little bit better. I've seen conventional loans with as low as a 3% down payment. So even slightly less than FHA in some cases. And your PMI drops off at 20% loan to value. So once you've paid off 20% of your house, you can call your bank and say, hey, quit charging me PMI, and they'll do it, probably, unless they're Wells Fargo. Um, if conventional loans, you can also have more repairs needed to the house. So if certain things are out of date, like the electrical, uh, I've seen conventional loans be able to have houses with fuse boxes instead of a circuit breaker panel. Whereas I've had FHA deals where that had to be replaced. So um, houses can 
if you're somebody who wants to put in a little bit of elbow grease, say, you can definitely uh, go a little bit farther with a conventional loan. Right. This week for my local business shout out, I want to say that Christine and I visited Caracas Venezuelan Street Bistro in Mishawaka. Awesome food. They have these crazy ornate desserts I wish I could have, but they're all like ice cream and that's a no, no for me these days. Um, but I got this sandwich called the Pepito is like a street style sub with steak, bacon and guacamole had ranch dressing on it. Oh, it was awesome. So highly recommend that if you're a Mishawaka real cheap too. Um, so you can't go wrong if you want just a nice lunch and a good cold snack. Uh, finally, my shameless plug for the week, uh, my other podcast, Okay, So Tell Me a Story. You can find us at okaysopodcast.com. Come check us out. It's funny, funnier than this one. Um, so other than that, you should like, subscribe, hit the bell icon on my channel. Uh, and Or actually, better yet, buy a house from me. Yeah. All right. Oh, and I should say, Two, for those of you who have been following every episode I've released so far, I am getting a little bit busier, so probably we'll drop this down to once a week. Um, maybe live stream, maybe recorded like this one. I don't know yet. I'm still experimenting with the format. So if you have a preference, you should let me know. And until next time, peace out.